Hi everyone. So the purpose of this video is to provide you with my experiences with the Hilltopper e-bike conversion kit, uh, which have all been really good, by the way. Also, you know, when I was looking into doing this, I looked at, you know, videos online. I looked at some of the Hilltopper videos. A lot of them didn't have any narration. There was a lot of like annoying wind in the background. So now that I've, I've been using my kit for Oh, a couple of months now, I, I thought I'd go ahead and put a video out there to help other people who are like me, you know, who are trying to get a lot of information before you purchased it to make the decision. So, so hopefully this will be a good video for you and it will be helpful. Anyway, so I'll tell you something about myself. To me, a bicycle is a fun way to get around and save gas. For the most part, I'll wear just regular street clothes when I ride. I have like a mountain bike style of bike. I would never refer to what I do as cycling. I do like to get the exercise, you know, it's low impact, but basically I'm never riding more than about 10 miles, mostly at a leisurely pace. So that that's the kind of, you know, style I am of rider. So I looked at different e-bike kits that I could find mostly on amazon.com. Most of those kits that I saw, I immediately excluded due to the high price. You know, a lot of them are $800,000 or more. If you can afford it, definitely look at some of those. But I wanted to do my conversion for under $500 because at that price point, I was calculating I could save myself gas money riding to work enough to pay for that $500 in about a year. So that kind of limited me to the Hilltopper kit, the Curie Technologies, or just buying individual components on Amazon and building the thing myself, which I could do, but I didn't want to do that. So the Curie system looked good to me, but it was a rear drive system. And I didn't want to deal with getting, you know, grease all over my clothes and my hands, messing around with the back wheel. I like the Hilltopper because they advertise it as a quick, uh, th they have a three-minute installation video you can find. I wanted an out-of-box, ready-to-go solution. I wasn't interested in, you know, making repeated trips to the hardware show store, the bike shop, Radio Shack, you know, looking for connectors and everything else that would require if I was going to build my own kit. Uh, I will say that the Hilltopper did deliver the promise as an out-of-a-box solution. I bought the, the the base kit, the cheapest kit, with the the economy battery. I bought directly from the Hilltopper website. I did shop around. I tried to find one cheaper on eBay or, or Amazon.com. I, I didn't find it there, so I ordered directly from their website. I had no problem with it. It did take, uh, let's see, about 10 days for me to receive it. Within seven days, it had shipped, and I received the wheel in two days. Okay, installation. I'm not going to go into a detail on how to install this, because if you do it wrong and you damage your hilltopper or your wheel falls off and you hurt yourself, you know, I'm not responsible for that. You know, you really want to make sure you use the instruction manual from Clean Republic to install your wheel and follow their in instructions. Exactly. Because that's important. If you don't do that, then you might put the wheel on backwards. <laughs> so that just as one comment, I think it would have been nice if they put a little arrow on the hub of the wheel that shows the direction of rotation. But, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. If you follow the instructions, you won't, you won't make the mistake of putting it. Okay. So the Clean Republic YouTube three-minute install video is a bit dishonest because one, the tire comes in flat, so you're going to have to pump that up. And uh, two, you need to charge the battery. But I'm going to cut them some slack because if I had tried to build a kit on my own from a collection of internet parts, I would have used up a whole weekend or a whole week. Um, so for me, the Hilltopper installed in just under one hour. That includes blowing up the tire. Well, and then I had to wait for the battery to charge. So that takes, uh, I think, four hours for my battery. The next thing, the battery has an on-off switch on it. Now, when you go to charge your battery, when you first hook it up to the charger and plug it in, you'll see the green light. You go, oh, it's charged. Well, no, you have to actually turn the battery on to begin the charging process. So what you'll see is, is you plug in the battery, you hook up the charger to the battery, plug it into the wall, you flip the switch, and then you'll see the charger goes from green to red. And that's then it's going to begin doing the actual charging. When that's done, the light goes back to green and you're ready to ride. Okay, now let's talk about the ride, because this was the thing I wanted to know the most about before I bought this. I weigh, I don't know, about 230. The bike I have is a pretty heavy, it's called a Diamondback Wildwood Sport Comfort Bike. So it's kind of like a mountain bike, but it's not really, it's made for riding around town. 
Uh, I usually carry like five to 10 pounds of junk with me, books, energy drinks, laptop, coat. I found that the Hilltopper had no obvious limitations carrying my weight and the, the other stuff I carry with me. So my concerns that this motor was underpowered, they, they're not there. It, it works just fine for me. Okay, so when you first get in it, you set everything up, power it up, you got your battery charged. You push the button, maybe there's like a one second delay, and then the power kicks in. And then suddenly your pedaling gets easier and it feels like you're riding down a hill. In fact, with a Hilltopper installed, I can basically leave my bike in the highest gear setting all the time if I want. I have like 18 speeds on. Now, if you leave it in the highest gear, you may have to push the button, use the motor to, to accelerate you from stops. But, um, you know, it works. It's, it's really convenient. Now, let's talk about hills and just your daily riding. Okay, for the small hills, you must pedal. But even the slightest amount of effort you give it is enough to get you over the hill. You can put more effort in, and that'll get you over the hill faster. For steep hills or long hills or long and steep hills, you need to put in more effort. One of the biggest hills that I climb, I feel like I really only need to put in about one-third of the effort that I would normally put in without, with the motor turned on. So it really makes a difference. Now, for the biggest, steepest hills I can find, you will find that you're going pretty slow by the time you reach the top, and you're going to be pedaling at the same time, you know, maybe putting in, like I said, 30, 50 percent effort. And by the time you get to the top of those huge steep hills, you, you're going pretty slow, but the motors never cut out on me. I mean, it, it continues to assist me all the way through the top of the hill and moving on. So I, I again, I'm very happy with the way it, it, it responds on steep hills too. Okay, for going downhill, after I reach the max speed of my bike, and that, that's the speed where you're in your top gear, you're pedaling as fast as you can pedal, and, and you're not going to pick up any more speed. That's it. I find that turning on the motor does absolutely nothing. So as far as I can tell, you cannot use the Hilltopper to accelerate yourself to some you know, ungodly speed running down a hill. I mean, basically, the speed tops out at uh, 15 miles an hour, which I think is a good speed because most bikes aren't made to do highway speed. And uh, if not for the faint of heart, go do a U YouTube search for BMX bicycle wreck at 50 miles per hour, and you will see what happens when you reach those speeds. So again, I feel that this Hilltopper does a really good job at, at making me feel comfortable when I'm riding it, like I'm not going to crash. So having the power in the front wheel hasn't been an issue for me. I feel like the bike is very stable, easy to control. It doesn't feel like I'm riding a motorcycle or a motor scooter. Again, because that Hilltopper max speed is a comfortable 10 to 15 miles an hour, which I would probably be riding at. It just, it, it just makes your bike feel easy to ride. And in fact, you'll want to go out and ride more because you won't be worried about, oh, you know, this, this route has a hill. I'd rather find an easier way. You can basically go any route you want. Okay, so, so let me put this another way. I feel like turning on the Hilltopper doesn't make you suddenly feel like you've transformed into the Incredible Hulk. I feel like when you turn it on, you just feel normal, like your your normal leisurely ride down a hill. But on the other hand, when you turn off that motor, sometimes you suddenly feel like your tires just went flat and you gained 50 pounds. So now your regular pace that you always thought was pretty good before you got the hilltopper suddenly seems slow as a snail when you turn off the motor. Well, here's a picture of the three-mile uphill route to my office. It says here that there's a 265-foot increase in elevation. But basically, I'm, what I'm telling you is it's like one nonstop hill for three miles. Now, this route is fine for me if I'm looking for a workout, you know, on the weekends or after work. But I can't ride this hill and arrive at my job looking like I just came out of 24-hour fitness. Now that I've added the hilltopper, I, I've been riding my bike every day. I can arrive at work in less time, and I'm not exhausted when I get there. I don't need to take a shower. So it, this really, for me, is working out really well. Okay, so like I say, I like it. It's working out well in my case. I feel very safe in it. I've never felt out of control, like I was going to crash or I was going to wipe out around a corner. So if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for something just to help you get to work without being exhausted, or you know, you have situations where there's a hill between where you are and where you want to go. And so you say, well, I'll just drive. That This is a perfect solution for it. And it also still allows you to get some exercise because you do have to pedal.
Okay. I do have a few complaints about it, which are minor. I'm not a fan of the power connectors. They're these metal screw-on types. Um, I find that getting the plug notch lined up is, is a little harder than it should be. I also find that when you unscrew the connector, it's possible to unscrew the back end of the connector as well, and then the wires pull out and get revealed. On the other hand, I don't have a suggestion on how they can make this better. I'm just saying maybe they should take a look at that in the future. The actual power assist button. So keep in mind that the way the Hilltopper works is it's either motor on, motor off. There's no levels of speed like one, two, three. No, it's just either your your motor's on or your motor's off. I don't like the button. I, I find that sometimes my thumb gets tired pushing it. I don't know if they should have made it bigger or have, you know, easier to push down on. I personally would have liked it if they had options. So you could select the, the different options, different types of buttons or levers or switches or whatever for that power engagement button. So again, that's not a big deal, but maybe in the future they could look at that. I also think it would have been nice to put like a metal grommet on the battery bag that would allow you to, to put a lock on the bag. It would be nice if I could lock the, the battery down onto my bike. So when I want to run into a convenience store or something, I, I don't have to worry about someone just you know, running off with it, even though I don't think that's a big risk. But so, so some sort of security clip or something on the battery bag would be nice just for peace of mind. Thank you very much for watching my video. They did send me a coupon code that you can use for $5 off. Feel free to use that if you want. Otherwise, have a nice day and uh, I hope you enjoy your e-bike conversion, whatever it is. Thanks a lot. Bye.